This video is brought to you by Ultium 365 via the World Designs Electronics and Octopod, the fastest search engine for electronic parts. I'm sure you already know about Arduino Uno and Arduino Nano as these are the most commonly used Arduino boards and I'm sure the majority of you guys might also know about other Arduino boards like Arduino Mega, Arduino Pro Mini, Arduino Leonardo etc. There is a long list of the Arduino boards. There are so many other Arduino boards that are not available in the Arduino boards list like the Seedwino Share which is considered to be the smallest Arduino. And here is my designed Arduino Pro Micro. Well, I could make it much smaller than the Seedwino Share but I had to make it slightly bigger for you guys so that you could easily make it at your home. Anyway, I want the smallest Arduino even smaller than the Seedwino Xiao and Arduino Pro Micro. So I decided to use the 801085C MOS 8-bit microcontroller as the smallest Arduino. You can clearly see the size difference. We don't need to add external capacitors, resistors and a crystal. And it's going to be the cheapest micro version of the Arduino. By looking at its size, you might have an idea that it has fewer I.O. pins, lower speed, less memory and no USB interface. So let me tell you beforehand that you cannot create every project with 801085 that you can create using Arduino Uno, Arduino Nano or Arduino Pro Micro. However, you can still create thousands of projects using 801085. There are many projects in which you only need to connect one or two sensors along with a display or you may want to control certain loads using an IR remote, an RFID module or other similar devices. AT1085 has digital pins, analog pins, PWM pins, SPI pins and more. Therefore, you can use the AT1085 microcontroller board in more than a million different ways. So without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. The AD1085 is a low power, high performance CMOS 8-bit AVR microcontroller chip developed by Atmel Corporation and is often used in small and low power embedded systems. Let's go through some of its technical specifications. The architecture is AVR Advanced Virtual Risk. The power supply voltage is from 2.7 volts to 5.5 volts. CPU speed is up to 20 MHz. Flash memory is 8 KB. EEP ROM is 512 bytes. GPIO pins are 6. Analog pins are 4. PWM pins are basically 2 located on pin 0 and 1. But pin 4 can also be used as PWM pin, so technically you can say it has 3 PWM pins. The interface type is USI Universal Serial Interface, which can be configured to perform SPI or I2C communications. The temperature range is from minus 40 degrees Celsius to plus 85 degrees Celsius, and it has no USB interface. For more technical information on timers, counters, watchdog timer etc read my article available on electronicclinic.com i have added a link in the description you can follow these pen out diagrams now we are going to get it ready so that we can program it using the arduino ide and for this we will have to burn the bootloader so let's go ahead and do it to burn the bootloader on the 801085 microcontroller you will need to follow these connections Connect pin 1 of the 801085 which is also the reset pin to pin 10 of the Arduino which is the SS pin slave select. Connect pin 4 which is the ground pin to the ground pin of the Arduino. Connect pin 5 which is the MOSI pin to pin 11 of the Arduino which is the MOSI master out slave in. Connect pin 6 which is the MISO pin to pin 12 of the Arduino which is the MISO master in slave out. Connect pin 7 which is the SCK pin to pin 13 of the Arduino which is the SCK serial clock. 
connect pin 10 of the AT1085 which is the VCC pin to the Arduino 5 volt pin. Finally connect a 10 microfarad decoupling capacitor between the reset and ground pins of the Arduino. Make sure you connect the positive leg of the capacitor with the reset pin and the other leg of the capacitor with the ground. So that's all about the connections. If still you have got any confusions then you can follow this circuit diagram. You can download this from the article available on electronicclinic.com. Now let's go ahead and start with the Arduino IDE. Ultim365 lets you invite users to your workspace so everyone can collaborate on projects and access the latest design revisions. To invite a user to the workspace, click the name of the workspace and select my Ultium 365 to open the workspace configuration in your browser. On the left side, select workspace members. Click the invite workspace members button to start the invitation process. To invite a user, enter their email address in the aid members field. You can invite multiple users at the same time. Finally, you can add a note that users will see in the invitation after entering all the necessary data Click the invite button to complete the process. Specify the administrator role for the invited user. Once a new team member accepts the invitation, they will have defined access to the workspace and can collaborate with other members. I have added links to the Ultium Designer, Ultium 365 and Octopart, the world's fastest component search engine. Now let's get back to our project. The AT1085 microcontroller is not pre-installed in the Arduino IDE and you can confirm this by going to the tools menu and then to board. You will see a long list of the Arduino boards but you won't find AT1085 so this means we'll have to manually install the AT1085 as a board in the Arduino IDE. For this go to my website and copy this board manager URL link. Then come back to the Arduino IDE, go to the file menu and then to preferences and paste this link in the additional boards manager URLs. Put a comma if you have added other boards otherwise you can directly paste the board URL link and then click on the OK button. Go to the tools menu then to board and click on the boards manager. Search for the at -tiny. You can see the at is included in this board's package. So let's go ahead and install it. Now to confirm that the at microcontroller is added, go to the tools menu. Then to board and you can see the at microcontrollers. You can see the different variants of the at microcontrollers. So let's go ahead and select the at 85 controller. So our setup on the Arduino IDE is completed. Next we are going to connect Arduino Uno with the laptop. While the Arduino IDE is open, go to the file menu, then to examples and open the Arduino ISP. Next, select the communication port. Next, select the programmer. Arduino is ISP. Finally, click on the burn bootloader. You can see the bootloader is burning and on the Arduino Uno, you will see these flashing LEDs. The bootloader burning process is completed and you should also see this notification or message in the Arduino IDE as well. So the bootloader burning process is completed and now we are going to check if we can program this smallest Arduino using the Arduino IDE. So let's go ahead and control an LED. Connect your power source voltage and ground wires with the VCC and ground pins of the AT1085 microcontroller. The voltage should be from 2.7 volts to 5.5 volts. In the circuit diagram you can see two batteries but you can use a 3.7 volt LiPo battery or any other 5 volt regulated power supply. Connect the anode leg of the LED to pin 5 which is the digital pin 0. 
So in the programming, we will refer to the physical pin 5 as pin 0. Anyway, don't forget to add a current limiting resistor of 330 ohms and connect the cathode leg of the LED with the ground. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the LED blinking program. This is the most basic LED blinking code. You can see I have used the digital pin 0 as the output to control an LED. And in the loop function, you can see I'm just turning on and turning off the LED at a delay of one second. So let's go ahead and upload this program. Right now, you can see the LED is not connected. And these are the same exact connections that I used for burning the bootloader. So we are going to use the Arduino Uno for uploading the program. So let's go ahead and click on the upload button. You can see the code has been uploaded. Now we can remove all the wires. I connected my 2.5 volt LED with the 801085 as per the circuit diagram. And I'm going to use my designed 5 volt and 3 amps power supply. This power supply takes up to 28 volts input and on the output it gives regulated 5 volts. So with this power supply we can power up the 801085 controller using solar panels, batteries and other DC adopters. You can watch my video on how to make this amazing 5 volt and 3 amps power supply. So let's go ahead and power up the smallest Arduino based on the 801085 microcontroller. You can see the LED is blinking which means we have done everything correctly. In my upcoming videos, I will use the AT1085 controller in intermediate and advanced level projects. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.